Hi, I'm Kimberly Brooks, sport dietitian with the Alberta Sport Development Centre. Whenever I start working with athletes, one of the first things we talk about is having a good nutrition foundation in place. This means eating a well-balanced diet with all four food groups. So today we're at the grocery store to show you what kind of foods you can put in your cart to make sure you're fueling your sport performance. One of the first places I always tell my athletes to come is the produce section. This is where they can fill the crowd up with lots of fruits and vegetables. They are rich in antioxidants, vitamins and minerals and these are important to help support athletes in their training. Vegetables and fruit also contain carbohydrates which provide energy for athletes. So when I tell them to look for fruits and vegetables, the more color the better. So your reds, your yellows, your dark greens, your purples, your whites. So today what we're going to look at is our dark greens. They're rich in folate, so things like kale, romaine lettuce, broccoli, peppers. Other good choices for vegetables are your orange vegetables, so carrots, pumpkin, and sweet potatoes. They're going to be full of vitamin A and have lots of carbohydrates for energy. Fruits are a portable snack, so they're always a great thing to throw in the locker or to bring with you when you're going for a training session. Things like bananas are high in potassium and they're really easy to digest, so it makes it a good pre-game snack. Um, other things like berries, uh, blackberries, strawberries, any kind of berry is high in fiber and they taste great. Um, when they're in season, they tend to be a good price, but out of season, you might want to look for a frozen variety instead. Uh, dried fruit can be used as well. You just want to watch the portion size of them because they can be quite energy dense. Grain products are an important source of energy for athletes. So grain products include things like bread, cereals, pasta, and rice. I always say to be sure to check the label and look for products that are made with whole grains and that contain fiber. So good choices would be your whole grain breads, um, whole wheat pastas, brown rice, whole wheat tortillas. Other whole grains you can include in your diet would be things like uh, your wild rice, quinoa, or even something like pot barley. And these are all going to contain a lot of fiber and provide that carbohydrate for energy for your athletes. Cereals are also considered grain products. These can be a great choice for athletes in the morning for a quick breakfast on the go, or even in the afternoon or the evening as a snack. So with cereals, I always say to try and look for your whole grain cereals and those that contain some fiber. A good rule of thumb is to read the ingredient label. We want to find a cereal that has 2 to 4 grams of fiber or more and have less than 10 grams of sugar. So if we take an example um, right here, this one will say it's made with 100% whole grain. And if we look at the nutrition facts table, um, the fiber in this one is 6 grams and the sugar is 10 grams. So this would be a good choice. Another choice could be something like shreddies. Um, again, it's made with whole grain. Sugar is 9 grams and the fiber is 6 grams. Uh, raisin bran, shredded wheat, corn bran, uh, oatmeal, they would all fall in those kind of ranges of higher fiber, lower sugar. Okay, so now that I've brought up food labels, let's talk a little bit more about how we actually read a food label. So I have some crackers here. Um, one of the first things we want to do is look at the nutrition facts table. When we look at it, we want to look at what the serving size is. So in this instance, the serving size is four crackers. I would assume that a lot of people would eat more than four crackers, so if we're going to double that, we would need to make sure that we're doubling everything else on the nutrition facts table. So things that we want to get a lot of could be things like carbohydrates, fiber, um, calcium, vitamin A, all those kind of things. Things we don't want to get a lot of is um, fat, saturated fat, and sodium. So when I look at this one, one of the things I look at is fat, um, and there is the percent daily value. Now the percent daily value is a really good way to find out what is in the food. So anything that's 5% daily value is considered a little. Anything that's over 15% daily value is considered a lot. So if we look at the sodium in this case, it says 2%. So that's telling me that this is actually a lower sodium product. Now if we were to compare it to a regular Triscuit cracker, um, the sodium in this one is 5%. So it's still considered a, a little amount, but when we're comparing the two, we can see which one would be a lower sodium choice. Now for athletes, sodium might not be as big of a concern because when you're sweating, you're losing a lot of salt. So that might be something we're not as worried about. The other thing I like to look at is the fiber. So in this one it has 2 grams of fiber and that's 8% daily value. Again, anything over 15% would be considered a lot, so this is kind of that medium ground. Meat and alternatives are a good source of protein for athletes to help with muscle repair and growth. 
So lean cuts of meat would be things like your skinless chicken breast, uh, you could do something like ground turkey or your lean ground beef. Um, things like fish would also work really well too. Fish also contains a good source of fat like the omega-3 fats, which is going to be important for an athlete to include in their diet. Now, if you choose deli meats, which a lot of athletes choose because it is easy to have a sandwich to take on the go or to stop and get a sub, try and choose your leaner cuts of deli meats. Things like your turkey, uh, your lean ham, or roast beef are all great choices. Other great protein alternatives include things like your eggs, uh, beans, and they can be canned beans or dried beans. I always find canned beans are a little bit more convenient. Um, and things like peanut butter. Again, I always find athletes like these type of protein choices because they're quick and easy to prepare, and of course they taste great. Milk and alternatives provide carbohydrates and protein, and they also provide a variety of vitamins and minerals such as calcium and vitamin D, which are important for building strong bones. Now it's really important for athletes to make sure they're meeting their calcium and vitamin D intakes because we want to make sure that they have strong bones to support their performance in sport. So we want to choose lower fat milk products such as skim 1% or 2%. And for athletes, they should be aiming to have two cups of fluid milk or milk alternative each day. This is going to help them meet their calcium and vitamin D intake. Now if an athlete is 18 years or younger, they need to have three to four servings of milk product a day. Um, and that can include things like your fluid milk or soy beverage, cheese and yogurt. So you may have heard chocolate milk is a great recovery drink. Now in recovery, after we've been active, we want to make sure we're refueling our muscles, we're repairing them, and we're rehydrating. So that's why chocolate milk can be a great choice because it contains a fluid, it contains carbohydrate to refuel, and it contains that protein to help rebuild the muscles. A yogurt can be a great snack, it can be a great breakfast, um, and it can be used in multiple ways, such as putting it in a smoothie. So if you're looking for a little bit of extra calories, you can choose yogurts that have a little bit more fat in them. Um, if you're looking for kind of that middle of the road, I always say look for yogurts that contain less than 2% milk fat. Um, if you're wanting to cut down on the sugar a bit, try choosing a plain yogurt and just adding your own fruit to it. Now, some athletes are looking for a little bit more protein, and so that's why Greek yogurt might be a better option. It is a little bit more higher in protein than your regular yogurt. So next time you go grocery shopping, fill your cart with good food choices to help fuel your body for great performance. For more sport nutrition tips, check out my other videos.